Hello from Springfield, Illinois in the United States. Uh, my name is Tracy Morris and I'm an artist and instructor. Um, I primarily work in uh, soft pastels. I work with a variety of pastel brands from hard to very soft. One of my go-to pastel brands is Unisons. Uh, primarily because of their buttery feel and luscious colors. And what I've been doing lately um, is using a set of color charts from Unison that include all of their colors. And I've been going through and trying to fill out my set of Unisons, filling in the, the gaps that I had. And while I've been working my way through these, I noticed that some of the smaller sets um, really would have, could result in very nice paintings. And so I decided to set up a challenge for myself to do a series of paintings, each one just using a specific set of unisons. And so when looking at these sets, I needed to be able to evaluate their potential. For a painting to really hold together well, it needs to have a range of values um, from dark to light. And it also needs, it is beneficial to have a range of warm and cool hues to create a sense of depth and dimension. So I decided to select for my first challenge, Unison set gray, 19 to 36. And looking at it, in, in terms of a, a range of values, ideally I want anywhere from three to five values. And looking at this particular set, it really gives me about seven or eight values. So it, it was already had good potential. And then it also has a nice range of these cooler hues um, in these grayish blue, grayish blue greens, and then the warmer hues being in the ochre family. So I felt that it, it was a, a good set to start off with for this particular challenge. Now, normally what I would do is I would pick a scene um, that would interest me and then I would work on some compositions and some designs and then I would select a color palette. But for this challenge, I really had to reverse that process. I picked the color palette first and then was thinking about what type of scene would work well for that range of colors. And I do a lot of thumbnail sketches, little designs. I've got notebooks full of them. And I stumbled across several of um, some thumbnails that I did that were inspired by some lily pad um, seed pods and leaves that were at the end of summer. They were wilted, they were torn, um, they were starting to get brittle. And I decided they might work well for this type of color palette. And since I really wasn't going to be tied to the local color in any way, I decided that I could actually just work not from a reference photo, but from a sketch. And so I did my, I took my thumbnail and I made a bigger version, really laying out my composition, but also establishing my value range from lights to darks. And so this is ultimately what I worked from um, in the process of creating the painting. So I've got my color palette, my inspiration, I've designed a composition that I felt was strong, um, I've got an idea of what my value relationships are, and my next step was to select the surface that it was going to go on. In this particular case, I used UART 400. Um, it's one of my favorite paper surfaces to work on and taped it down to a piece of gator board and then transferred my sketch from my 
um, sketch pad onto the paper itself. And then what follows is a time-lapse video that will show you the process of me working through applying an underpainting. Um, I really enjoy doing underpaintings. They give me an extra layer of color, but in this case, it also helped really solidify that value structure of the scene. But the time-lapse video will take you through the application of the underpainting and through the process of applying pastel um, in completing my first part of this challenge um, and this particular painting is titled Enlightened. Um, I hope you enjoy it. 